Hi right, guys, welcome to another amazing episode of Christianity over Islam debate. A Muslim rage quiet on this debate about original sin. Let's watch this amazing video. So Scarface had a point that he was making against Sam Shimon. So uh, Scarface, you're here. Go ahead and absolutely destroy this hater. Go ahead. Are you a okay. Quran only Muslim? No. Okay, so you believe in the Sunnah, right? Yes. So what do you say in Sahih Muslim 6665-6666-6668? We'll bring it up. Your God will sacrifice Jews and Christians as a ransom for your sins and throw them in hell in your place. Uh, I'm going to need to see the Hadith first because I'm yeah, not aware of this. You sound like a young man and respectful because you're attacking in the comment section. So let's see. So according to your criterion, that means you just said that your God can't be God. So if you're going to open it up, Avery. It's the ministry. No, I'll, I'll give you props because I've never heard this argument before. So well, I'm because you haven't listened to enough of our sessions. Keep sticking around. You're going to learn a lot about Islam that they don't tell you in the mosque. All right. Now, if you scroll down to Muslim, right there, chapter 8, the throwing of non-believers in hellfire. The link is right there. So click on the link. Abu Musa reported that Allah's messenger, may peace be upon him, said, when it will be the day... Of resurrection, Allah would deliver to every Muslim, a Jew or a Christian, and say, That is your rescue from hellfire. Now read 6666. So let me read it for you. This is now 6666, interesting number, 6666, number of Antichrist. But anyway, Abu Burda reported on the authority of his father that Allah's apostle said, No Muslim would die, but Allah would admit in his stead. A Jew or Christian in hellfire. Umar bin Abdul Aziz took an oath by one besides whom there is no God but he, thrice that his father had narrated that to him from Allah's Messenger. Sai Muslim, book 37 is right there on the screen, 6666. Now, 6668. 6668. Same Sai Muslim is right there on the screen, so you don't say we're lying. Abu Burda reported Allah's Messenger saying, There would come people amongst the Muslims on the day of resurrection with as heavy sins as a mountain, and Allah would forgive them, and he would place in their stead the Jews and the Christians. As far as I think, Abu Rawb said, I do not know as to who is in doubt, but Abu Burda said, I narrated it to Umar bin Abdul Aziz, whereupon he said, was it your father who narrated it to you from Allah's apostle? I said, yes. Now, I can give you more, but these are the ones you see on the screen. And the chapter is chapter 8, throwing of non-believers in hell fire, for believers as divine grace and mercy. So, are you okay with your God Allah throwing Jews and Christians in hell and in the place of Muslims for forgiveness of their sins? Are you okay with that? Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't you just condemn us for saying that our God requires human sacrifice for forgiveness of sins and you condemned us, but now you're okay with your God doing that, sacrificing humans for your sins? Yeah, but there's a difference. What's the difference? Because... It for Christians, you believe in the doctrine of original sin, which basically yeah, means... Well, by the way, your prophet believed that. He believed in original sin. No, he didn't. You want me to prove it again? I mean, you can try, but... Oh, you want me to bet? I'm going to show you that Muhammad said, Adam sinned through you out of paradise and made you miserable. Don't challenge me and have an attitude. Be humble and I'll be gracious to you. So you want me to prove it from your Quran and Hadith that you don't know what you're talking about again? Okay. Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's apostle said, Adam and Moses met. And Moses said to Adam, you are the one who made it, made people miserable and turned them out of paradise. Now, I'm going to ask you a question about this, so pay attention. You, Adam, are the one who made people miserable and got us thrown out of paradise, turned them out of paradise. Adam said to him, you are the one whom Allah selected for his message and whom he selected for himself and upon whom he revealed the Torah. Moses said, yes. Adam said, do you find, did you find it? written in my fate before my creation? Moses said, yes. So Adam overcame Moses with this argument. So did you catch what it said? You, Adam, Moses yeah, says... I'm just trying to find the Hadith in, uh, right there. in Arabic okay, so I can read it. It's 260. Do you want me here? Let me, let me spoon feed you the links because I know you want to avoid it. Here it is. Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's messenger said, Adam and Moses met. And Moses said to Adam, you are the one who made people miserable and turned them out of paradise. Adam said to him, you are the one whom Allah selected for his message. And whom he selected for himself, and upon whom he revealed the Torah. Moses said, Yes. Adam said, Did you find that written in my fate before my creation? Moses said, Yes. So Adam overcame Moses with this argument. So pay attention. This is not just one hadith. I got about 10 of them. You, Adam, are the one who made people miserable and turned them out of paradise. 
Because okay, you got thrown out of paradise and we're miserable. Did Adam make you miserable and throw you out of paradise? Listen, this is this is Moses. Uh, so the, the context of the Hadith are, is Adam and Moses are arguing. Yeah. Okay? So this is Moses' interpretation. doesn't mean that it's the no, truth. No, it isn't. You're lying. That's not what it said. You're lying. What's, what's it saying? What it's saying that Adam said... Yeah, guys, um, from the video so far, you could see that the guy asked a question, Shaman asking a question, if he's God, we use Christian and then you for, as a ransom, the place of Muslims. And then the guy say he does not have uh, knowledge on that. And then some has to read the hadith that says that uh, the God and the Allah will use the Christian and the Muslim as a ransom. Even if their sins is as big and tall as the mountain, he will use Christian as, and Jews as a ransom in her finding place of the Muslims. And the guy agreed. And some asked him, so you agree depart from the Quran and you condemn Christians for believing that they sacrifice Jesus for the redemption of their sins. And he says it's not the same thing because Christians believe in the sin. And some is now trying to prove to him that even and the Quran talk about original sin. And then I think some school thing. Let's get back to this video to get more details. Why are you blaming me? For what Allah decreed for me. Allah predestined that this would happen. So why are you blaming me for it? So either you're not reading it or you are, but you're not. Okay, so do you agree? Because I'm going to give you a Quran now. We're going to go to chapter 36. Answer my question. Do you agree with the statement that Adam made you miserable and got you out of paradise? Here it is. Another one. No, I don't agree with that. Moses argued with Adam and said to him, you are the one who got the people out of paradise by your sin and thus made them miserable. So don't play games. Deal with that. Deal with yeah, it. I don't, I don't agree with that. So you don't agree with Bukhari? He I mean, doesn't agree with Muhammad. This isn't Muhammad way. speaking. What are you talking about? This isn't Muhammad speaking. The prophet said. Yes. The prophet? the prophet said. Moses said. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, where did, hold on. Let me play this game. Show me where your prophet said. Adam said wrong. I didn't do that. Show me where... Adam said, wrong, I didn't do that. Show that to me. Okay, so you're saying because he didn't say wrong, I didn't do that. That means what? No, he what said, said, I did do it because your fake God he determined it for him. But now I'm going to make it harder for you. Because now I'm going to give you your prophet saying, because of Eve, women betray their husband. And it's your prophet saying that. Narrated Abu Huraira. The prophet said, we're not for Bani Israel. Meat would not decay. And we're not for Eve. No woman would ever betray her husband. Now, tell everyone, I disagree with Muhammad. I don't believe Eve is the reason why women betray their husband. Say your prophet doesn't know what he's talking about. We'd agree with you. Say it. Say, say my prophet say, is clueless because he's wrong that because of Eve's betrayal, women betray their husbands. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And I want you to say to everyone, and my prophet is even more stupid for saying, because of the children of Israel, our meat decay. So because of the Jewish sin, now our meat decay. So we don't have to add preservatives and kill our bodies. Say it. Agree with us. Your prophet doesn't know what he's talking about. Say it. Listen, whatever, you're not, you're not going to get me to say something that's not true. Okay, so. Oh, so it is true. So don't don't wait, try wait, to manipulate, don't, don't manipulate so me. Okay, then say, I agree with my prophet. Because of those Jews, our meat spoils. And because of Eve, women like my mother cheat on their husbands. Don't be ashamed of your prophet. Listen, even though you're not going to manipulate me do that. Like I'm not. A, we're reading your hadith. Do you believe it? Yes or no? Do you I'm, believe I, it? Yes or no? I believe the hadith. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So then you just agree because of someone else's sin, we suffer. Thank you. Can I give you more hadith for you to to be too embarrassed to comment on? You want scholars, right? All right. Let's go with uh, Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Is that good enough for you, Abdullah Yusuf? Because if I give you what I quote, you're gonna say, oh, well, I don't have it." You're gonna use the kapat response. You show me that. You're gonna show me translation. Or you're gonna show me the Arabic. Okay, so I'm going to have you read chapter 2, verse 36, 38 in Arabic, and then parse it for me. Open up the Quran, 2, 36, 38. So you can read Arabic, right? Yeah. Okay, read it for me. Slowly, because I'm going to ask you to emphasize certain words and tell me if they are dual or plural and explain what the plural implies. I'm glad you read Arabic. Now you're going to make my case for me. <laughs> What's ihbatu? Hold on. Ihbatu. What is that? Yeah, but is it dual or plural? It's plural. 
Now, let me ask you a question. The only ones there, Adam and Eve, there are two. Why is it plural? Plural means three or more. Two would be in the dual. But keep reading because I'm going to ask you specific questions. Keep going. Okay. Ba'adukum uh, ba'adim. Ba'adukum, okay. Is that dual or plural? Plural. So it's saying... Are you trying to say a grammatical error? Is that what you're trying to say? What? You're trying to say it's a grammatical error? No. I'm actually going to prove that this teaches original sin if you're patient. Okay. Calm down. So plural, is it, plural means more than two, right? Right. And yet how many are being addressed? Who's being addressed and being sent down to the earth? Uh, Adam and Eve. So if there are two, one plus one, why does it say get down all of you, which refers to a crowd, not to two? It could, you, you clearly don't, do, do you know Arabic? Does Ibn Kathir know Arabic? Does Yusuf Ali know Arabic? Stop the game, answer the question, buddy. Okay, it could refer to two, but... No, it doesn't, because Ibn Kathir and Yusuf Ali say that the reason why it's plural, it's because it's referring to them and their offspring that would descend from them. That's where I'm going to get you busted. And here's what Ibn Kathir says. You see, that's why you're you're kind of hated. Oh, do you know okay. Arabic? Okay, so do you agree that this is referring even, to the offspring? Even if we accept that premise, even if we accept that premise, it doesn't doesn't prove original sin. Yes, it does, because it no, proves. It can I, because can I are supposed to go Why down. are you not in paradise? Why are you on earth in a state of misery and sinning and dying? Because we're their descendants. Doesn't mean that we're... we're oh, you bear, see, you, you don't see how you're bearing yourself. Because of what they did, we suffer. Because now I'm not in paradise. So I'm not in paradise but on earth. Doesn't and mean now that because I'm accountable you have, for what I they did. pain and sin and die. It you doesn't know mean you I'm accountable for what they did. You know you just buried yourself, you can't, right? You can't, you can't equate those two things. Ibn Kathir did. Open it up for him. Allah informs of his warning to Adam, his wife, and saying, their offspring, when he ordered them to descend from paradise, he says he will send messengers with scriptures, signs, and proofs. So how did Allah warn their offspring if their offspring were not in Adam and Eve being represented by Adam and Eve because they didn't exist in paradise? Yeah, oh yeah their actions affect us. But doesn't mean that we're working. Well, now let me see if you actions. know what original sin is. Tell me what original sin is. Let's see how smart you are. Because let's see. Because you just proved the original sin. What is the original sin? Original sin is the idea that we bear the sin. Not that we don't bear the you're saying that we bear the consequences of their sin. I I, I don't disagree with that. But you're saying we bear their, their sin, that we're actually accountable for that. That we'll be punished for that. So wait, so you define, so you agree. I can be punished and suffer the consequences of someone else's sin, right? <laughs> yeah so you just admit yeah, that right yeah. yeah you can okay you know you just buried your argument then that means now jesus can bear the punishment for my sins not because he sinned but because he chose to bear the consequences of my sin to set me free what was your argument again what what was your argument again hello yeah that's what i thought so you want to move on kid because you're you're, you're really not up for this. Read what Abdullah Yusuf Ali says. Next one, 236. It's right in beneath that. Go beneath. Note the transition. Remember, he said, Do I know Arabic? I guess Yusuf Ali doesn't know Arabic. Note the transition Arabic from the singular number in 233 to the dual in 235 and the plural here in 236. Plural means three or more, it means a crowd, which I have indicated in English by all you people. Evidently, Adam is the type of all mankind. He represents all mankind. And the sexes go together in all spiritual matters. Moreover, the expulsion applied to Adam, Eve, and Satan, and the Arabic plural is appropriate for any number greater than two. So does he know Arabic, by the way? Or he's making it up? So you need to learn a lot about your religion, my religion, before you come and think that you can attack it and you're acting tough in the comment section. So let's, again, recap what you admit. You have no problem with your God, Allah, torturing, brutalizing, tormenting Jews and Christians in hell as a ransom sacrifice for your sins. You okay with that? That's not what the Hadith said. Okay, let's reread it again. Let's see what the Hadith said. Okay, what's that subheading say? Hold on, wait, what does that subheading okay, sub say? Read it for me, Avery. Disbelievers are sent to hell as sacrifice to the Muslims. Now read for me what the Hadith says itself. This is Dude, from Dawud Salam. Uh, this is Dawud Salam. You can shut your mouth and read it. You don't like it, you can get out of here. Abu Musa narrated that the Messenger of Allah said, when it is the day of resurrection, Allah will deliver every Muslim, a Jew or a Christian, and say that that is your sacrifice from hell fire. And where am I quoting from? 
The translation of the meanings of summarized Sahih Muslim Arabic to English. Compiled by Al Hafiz, Zakiruddin, Abdul Azim, Al Mundiri, Darus Salam, Publishers Distributors, First Edition, Volume 2, 62, pages 1033, 1034. If you're too cheap to buy the book, you know the zakat they give for jihadis and travelers? Ask them to give you some zakat and go buy the book. You don't like it, get lost, because that's what it says, and I quoted it. And the online version actually says in chapter 8, throwing of non-believers in hellfire for believers as divine grace. So it is grace of Allah to torture me in hell for your sins, for your wicked, filthy sins? Yeah. You think it's time for me to go and go study your religion come back? What do you think, young man? I'm done with you, man. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Just like Allah with me. Yep. Take care, bye. <laughs> bye bye. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, that was an amazing, amazing debate. Um, if Sam asks you a question, he's leading you somewhere, and where he's leading you is a trap. <laughs> he asked the guy some critical question that the guy was unable to answer. He had to answer some, but he was not sincere. I think the first part of the video was when one certain part of the Quran was saying that Christian, Christians and Jews will be used in place of Muslims in the place of hell as a ransom for Muslims. And then Sam asked him if you believe in such and Christians believe that Jesus was used as a ransom for our sins, then why do you judge the Christian? And which the answer of the guy leads to the main topic of the debate, which he said and that uh, the Christians believe in a doctrine of original sin. And so and leads him to Quran where even the is even Islam believe in the doctrine of original sin. And then some acts Took, took in there where Moses was asking Adam that you sent the people out of paradise because of your sins. If the sins of Adam took people out of paradise, which sin is it? Is it not an original sin? The guy said he does not believe in that. And some asking a very critical questions again that uh, because if uh, if that uh, that was not the word of uh, Moses, uh, that that was not the word of Muhammad and some asked him, okay, this is what your your your, your Muhammad said about if that if that women betray their husband because if has done that and the guy said he does not belong and, and some shaman asked him, does that mean that you don't believe in the hadith? And he said he believed in the hadith if he believed in the hadith, which means he accepted that there's an original sin. So guys, you have watched this amazing video. Let us know what you think. Leave your comments in the comment section. And don't forget to like, to share, and also subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this. Thank you.